Aujourd'hui, on n'a pas les moyens. On n'a pas l'argent. On n'a pas la technologie. On est d'accord. Mais il y aura des troubles. Et finalement, il y aura une migration. On va vous en... Les Africains vont vous emmerder. Le continent africain va vous emmerder aux États-Unis, en France, en Europe. Captain Mosadadis Kamara, born 1st January 1964, now called Moise Dadis Kamara, is an ex-officer of the Guinean army who served as the president of Guinea from 23rd December 2008 to 15th January 2010. He was the leader of the National Council for Democracy and Development, which seized power in a military coup d'etat on 23rd December 2008, shortly after the death of the long-time president Lansana Conte. On 28th September 2009, protests occurred in the capital Conakry demanding that Kamara step down. The security forces responded with force and several dozens of people died. On 3rd December 2009, Kamara was shot in the head during an assassination attempt and subsequently left the country to Morocco for medical treatment. Sekoba Konante took over as acting president with the United States and France expressing their desire to keep Kamara out of the country. Mosadadis Kamara, born in the remote town of Kole, Nzelekole Prefecture, in the Guinean Forest Hill region of southeastern Guinea, near the border with Cote d'Ivoire and Liberia. He is a member of the Pele ethnic group known in Guinean as Gezel. Dadis attended primary school and secondary school in Nzele Kole, about 40 kilometers away from his bath town of Kole. He studied law and economics at Abdel Nasser University in the capital, Conakry. He joined the army of Guinean in 1990 as a corporal and was later appointed the chief of fuels at the Guinean army base in Ikinda, about 100 kilometers northeast of Conakry. From 2001 to 2002, Dedis was sent to Sierra Leone as a member of the United Nations escaping troops. In 2004, President Conte sent Dadis along with several other Guinean soldiers to Bremen, a German and for 18 months military training. In November 2008, he was named head of the Guinean Army's Fuel Surprise Unit, a branch of the Guinean Minister of Defense's cabinet. He was one of the leading mutineers in the 2008 Guinean military unrest. Prior to the December 2008 coup, he was not well known by the general population. In 2010, Kamara converted from Islam to Roman Catholicism. In the early hours of 23rd December 2008, Abu Bakar Sompali, the president of the National Assembly, announced on television that Conte had died because of illness on 22nd December. According to the constitution, the president of the National Assembly was to assume the presidency of the Republic in the event of a vacancy and, and a new presidential election was to be held within 60 days. Six hours after Sompale announced Conte's death, a statement was read on television announcing a military coup d'etat. This statement read by Captain Kamara on behalf of the CNDD said that the government and the institutions of the Republic have been dissolved. The statement also announced the suspension of the constitution as well as political and union activity. Guinean National Radio began playing the song Ame Guinean repeatedly. According to Kamara, the coup was necessary because of Guinea's deep despair amidst rampant poverty and corruption. And he said that the in existing institutions were incapable of resolving the crises which have been confronting the country.
following statement was read over the radio on 24th December 2008, announcing that Captain Kamara was the president of the CNDD. Later in the day, Kamara and thousands of soldiers loyal to him paraded through the city, surrounded by large numbers of civilian supporters. According to Kamara, he came to see if the terrain is favorable to us, declaring that the large crowds indicated that the people were indeed supportive of the coup. Also on 24th December, Kamara said in a radio broadcast that the CNDD did not want to stay in power indefinitely and that tended to lead the country for two years, promising credible and transparent presidential elections by the end of December 2010. On 28th September 2009, opposition party members demonstrated in the Stade de 28 September in Conakry demanding that Kamara step down. Although many branches of security forces were involved, the presidential guard red ballots led by Abu Baker Tomba Diakite were responsible for the violence, firing on, knifing, bayonetting, and gang raping the freeing civilians killing at least 157 people and injuring at least 1,200 not just in a stadium but as many fred on the streets. In response to criticism from international human rights organizations, the government said that only 56 people died and most were trampled by freeing protesters. On 3 December 2009, Kamara was shot by men under command of his aide de camp, Abu Baker Tomba Diakiti. A government spokesman said he was only lightly wounded, but anonymously junta officials said Kamara was in a serious condition after being shot in the head. Kamara's bodyguard and driver were killed in the attack. On 4th December, the New York Times sources suggested that Kamara had, in fact, left the country for medical treatment in Morocco amidst claims by officials that he was not in a serious condition. Vice President Sekoba Konate flew back from Lebanon to run the country. With Kamara still in rehabilitation, the United States government expressed its desire to see Kamara kept out of Guinea. On 12 January 2010, Kamara was thrown to Burkina Faso after meeting in Ogadugu on 13th and 14th January. On 15th January, Kamara, Konate and Braze Kampol, former president of Burkina Faso, produced a formal statement of 12 principles promising a return of Guinea to civilian rule within six months. It was agreed that the military would not contest the forthcoming elections and Kamara would continue his recovery outside Guinea. On 21st January 2010, the military junta appointed Jamali Dole as Prime Minister of a six-month transition government leading up to elections. Mosa has been in exile in Burkina Faso since 2010 and while living there has converted from Islam to Catholicism. Changing his birth name of Mosa of Moses to its French form Moise. In October 2016, Kamara retired from the presidency of the, his party, the Patriotic Forces for Democracy and Development, FPDD, and announced that he would not participate in the next municipal and legislative elections. On September 27, 2022, Morsa Dadis Kamara was imprisoned exactly one day and 13 years after he, the event that led to the death of 157 people, the trial of the 2009 massacre would begin. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.